tamang verb para sa subject na merong intervening phrases. So, Chris, dapat mag-agree ang iyong subject at verb. Kung pronoun naman, tsaka sa pronoun referent o noun referent. So, ang general rule natin, pag singular yung subject, dapat ay singular din ang iyong verb. Ganun din sa plural, plural subject requires a plural verb. In case ang iyong subject ay mayroong intervening phrases like the words along with, as well as, in addition to, including, together with. Lima nito, the stomach, in addition to the large intestines, ang yung titignan lagi is yung subject ito. Umunting na yung intervening phrases. The stomach, yan ay singular. Kaya ang ating gagamitin na verb ay singular din, which is the word is. The stomach, ito ay panggulo lang. Panggulo lang yan, lahat talaga yan. The stomach, in addition to the large intestines, is a part of the digestive system. Tsaka, meron silang kama. So, parang wala din silang, um, naala silang contribution dito sa subject. Hindi sila kasali. Okay? Pang ano lang sila. May masabi lang. Yan tinatawag na intervening phrases. Ito naman, Rogelio and Mirazel. Rogelio and Mirazel. Yan ay dalawa. So, plural sila. Kino, kinabit lang sila nitong coordinate and conjunction na end. Rogelio and Mirazel, plural subject. Tapos, may kasama intervening phrases. Nag-start sa word na including. Including their supervisor. Since ang ating subject ay plural, kaya ang ating verb ay plural din. Kaya tama ang verb na approve. Rogelio and Mirazel, including their supervisor, approve of the system changes. So, lagi mong tatandaan ayon sa rule kapag yung subject ay may, ay may intervening phrases na sila ay enclosed with commas. Ito yung comma, ito yung comma. Na matatagpuan after na subjects na nagsisimula sa pwedeng words like along with, as well as, in addition to, including, chat together with. They do not affect the number of the subject and its agreement with the verb in the sentence. Wala silang epekto sa ating subject. Tingnan mo lagi yung subject, hindi yung intervening phrases. Okay? Kung singular ang iyong subject, it is singular din ang iyong ilagay na verb. Kung plural naman ang iyong subject, plural verb din ang iyong ilalagay. Okay? Thank you.